Okay, so now it's on to the next step in our research paper writing process, and we're still dealing with the organizational stage. You've started this stage by writing your thesis statement, but now it's time to look at the information you found as a whole and figure out how all of that information works with itself, kind of works together. Uh, you should have four sources. You should have notes on those four sources, and most likely the notes on those four sources are on four separate paper. So what you need to figure out how to do is how to organize all that information. We're not writing a paragraph about a source and then another paragraph about a source and then a third paragraph about a source. That's just summary writing and that's not what you're trying to do here. What you're trying to do here is use your research to help prove the point that you made in your thesis. It's almost a form of persuasive writing because you're using this information to back up the claim that you stated with your thesis statement. So here's how I did this. I put my note papers out in front of me on my desk so that I could see all of them at once. The image that you see here are what my notes looked like. So I could see all of my notes all at once and I thought about them. What categories could I divide my information up into? A lot of you have said that you found similar information on all of your sources and that's probably true. That's one way of verifying credibility to make sure that the information your sources are providing you is accurate is to have that sort of consensus. But now it's time to look at it and figure out how you can divide that information up. What I did is I used four different color highlighters and that's why you see this sort of colorful mess on my papers. I looked at all four of my notes, four of my notes on my sources, and I picked up, you know, one color highlighter for one topic, one color highlighter for another topic, a third color highlighter for a third topic, etc. The other way you can look at this is to see if there's a progression of information. Is there something that a reader would have to know first, then second, then third, then fourth, so that there's some kind of a progression or um, like a development in order to understand your topic. By first dividing your information into categories or sections and then organizing your body paragraphs, you'll be working uh, with the way the sources work with one another and this does increase the academic integrity of your writing. So once you've done this, and this is really a step that I encourage you to do, looking at all of your notes all together at once and figuring up how, figuring out how you can divide it. Once you've done this step, then it's time for a very brief outline, and I'll post um, an electronic version of this outline. And you can see what I've done here is I've I looked at my thesis statement and I actually color coded my thesis statement to match up with the colors for my body paragraphs. And these colors that I've used here were the same colors that I used when I divided my notes out. So that way I know which information goes with which part. I needed a fifth body paragraph. I figured with my thesis I needed to divide it into five sections. You can do that if you need to, but here's your minimum. And you will see that it's the point or topic of the paragraph is the category or the section that you've divided that research into and you will find or you should use multiple pieces of information from multiple sources within each paragraph. Completing this outline is the best way to make sure that that happens in your final paper. I know this seems like a lot of pre-writing stages for those of you who typically just write a final draft, but trust me, when you front load this way, the final product ends up better. Okay, that's what I got for you, and if you watch this video all the way through, send me a message with the word tulip.